What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World and I know a lot of you guys saw this coming. Randy Moss is garbage, bro. Like I'm not going to sit up here and set trip. In in Madden, you can moss with him, but he's nothing like Kelvin Benjamin and Calvin Johnson or Gronk for that matter. Like he's just not that dude. Um so pretty much he had to go. Um did we appreciate all his time and service? We did, but the dude's garbage and we had to move on from him. Unfortunately for us, we played a lot of the challenges that got all of his individual cards for free and we also used the 99 overall power pass so that was very very interesting in that regard for us because even with the fact that he was raid sold it's kind of weird because we can't do nothing else with his cards you know what i'm saying like it, it is what it is like he, the, the dude's garbage but we there is nothing else we can do you know we just got it, it is what it is the dude you know we got the 92 we got the 95 and it's like what are we going to do with it we don't have no exchange sets we don't have nothing going on because until they give us the new exchange set that gets 95 plus, it doesn't really matter. So with everything else that he has, it's not much that I can do with him. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much what's going to be happening right now. We're going to be going ahead and we are going to be adding Calvin Benjamin into the lineup and going back and giving him some abilities and, you know, stuff like that and seeing what he's all about. And then we'll go from there. But again, this dude right here, you know, at the time that I sold him, I just wanted coins. I'm like, yo, it is what it is. Right now, currently, I'm still waiting for that Calvin Johnson to sell. If you guys saw the Raid Cell Calvin video, go ahead and write the number seven in the comments. That means that you're up to par and you're keeping up with the whole system of what we've been doing. Like, you guys are here for every video and I really appreciate you guys for tuning in and just checking out and see what we're doing. But this guy right here, we're gonna just pretty much have him until, unless somebody else comes out that's more dominant, there really is no reason to not have Calvin Benjamin on the squad. Like, there's no reason. And I know a lot of you guys are like, yeah, I, I was wondering, g -Mai, like, why you got rid of him in the beginning? But like I said, I just wanted to go ahead and just have more coins in the bank. And there's nothing wrong with that, bro. Like, I just wanted to see more figures, bro. So I had to go ahead and raid sell him and come up. And we done came up like 7-Up, baby. So it is what it is. Now we're just adding different things and looking at some of the things that he has. Um, before, I used to give him, like, you know, Leapfrog and other, you know, stuff like that. But all you really need is post flag elite and uh, streak specialist to kind of you know activate your players and let them do what they need to do on those streak and post routes now you got to know when to pass the ball certain ways and you know when to do the post when to do the streak that's up to you at your discretion but uh for the most part that's just been a system that i've been utilizing um we're going to try out evasive now the thing about evasive is this right you generally are not going to be using it a lot the route apprentice is also pretty good but you're not going to be utilizing evasive a lot unless you're one of those guys that throws you know, slants and then you wanna get busy. But if I do need to throw a slant, at least I know I can do whatever I want. You see what I'm saying? Like I can get a juke animation and go for six. That is extremely important. That is something that people you know, take for granted. If you have a big body wide receiver like Kelvin and he's able to get evasive, you know, it's much better than having Leapfrog, which is why I'm not, you know, Leapfrog was just to kind of antagonize somebody after you mossed them. You know what I'm saying? You jumping in the end zone like a bunny rabbit. It's all very stupid and um, you know, pretty much that's what it was about. So now these are going to be the new abilities that we're going to be jumping into uh, the actual game with and then trying to see what's good. So we're going to go ahead, add him into the lineup, put his abilities on, and then, you know, we're going to go from there and see how everything is everything else is going to work out. So with Calvin, Kelvin. Now, with the way that it is right now, I'm leaving him on that side based on the type of formations that I run and where I want him. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, this is where I want him. This is what I want him to do. So with the way that this is, you know, the way that it's set up, I'm going to have to make a couple of adjustments with everything else because Grunk obviously is a better run blocker on the outside, but 63 is not bad. And a lot of the other receivers, they got like 59, you know, stuff like that. You know, Calvin doing whatever with 59 as well. So, you know, he has a 63. That's fine. He should be able to hold his blocks uh, pretty, you know, pretty decently so that we won't really miss Grunk. But obviously we're going to miss Gronk because Gronk is a monster out there. Like Gronk is the one guy that I feel confident throwing it into triple coverage. Like the dude's going to come down with the ball for some reason. He's like a weird man. I, I don't know what his deal is, but, you know, he does whatever he wants and it actually works for him. So we're going to go ahead and get everything out of the lineup that has to do with Randy Moss so that we can kind of like raid sell him and not have to worry about it. Yeah, that was a mistake. How did this guy get there? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead and fix that real quick. I, I can just feel myself taking an L with that kind of mistake, having that bum in there. I, bro, I got to go and start selling a lot of these cards. I don't even know what most of these cards are doing in my binder right now. Like, real talk. Like, them dudes are just there. Um, so, it is what it is. So, now, pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. You know, we got to downgrade Randy Moss, obviously. Uh, get all the abilities off. Get a lot of training back. All that good stuff. And then, like I said, all of his cards that go into a set, 
I, I didn't pay for them. Like I just, I lab, I mean, not lab, I grinded the game. I played all the challenges and I got the cards as nets. Uh, for those of you guys that have been playing the game all year, you know the Madden 10 challenges, and then you got to pick, you know, whatever with the, um, when they had the top 100 wide receiver situation, and then we have a 99 overall power-up pass, so there's so many different ways to do it. So I pretty much, you know, got a lot, a lot of his cards for free by just playing the game. So, you know, I always try to encourage you guys to do that. Um, I can't do nothing with them. They're both Nats, and I can't do nothing with that one, so... You know, it is what it is. We just got to go ahead and, and, and do what's right. So with this, the way that it is right now, we're going to go ahead and, um, you know, pretty much get rid of, we're going to go ahead and get rid of everything right now, bro. Like we can't, we can't raid sell those. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually, you know, do what's right and just sell the actual power ups because we had two of them. And then that's it, bro. Um, we'll figure out what we're going to do with those guys, put them in the set, you know, whatever. We'll see what we can do with them uh, later on. But for now, there's nothing we can do with it. So we're going to go ahead and just adjust everything to make sure that the chems are still correct. So we'll put Jerry Rice back in at wide receiver. And then the quarterback, Jerry Rice, will kind of take him out. Um, and we have Steve Young there to kind of keep our chemistries going uh, with the 49ers. And, um, you know, that pretty much keeps everything else going. Sprinter, brawler, everything else is good. Now we could go ahead and jump into another gameplay and see what Kelvin Benjamin is all about. Did I miss him? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, 100%. Because I've gone through so many other players like you guys have seen. It's been fun, though. I, you know, I pretty much enjoy doing it, having fun with you guys, uh, seeing what players you guys like to see, getting them out there. Um, obviously, we've taken losses, like playing around with CD Lamb and a bunch of idiots. But, you know, it is what it is. We have fun with it. And um, at the end of the day, it's about enjoyment and you guys really having a good time with it. So uh, right here, we, we, we know what we are. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like we know that we want to throw the streak and um, that's pretty much what it is. So we're going to go out here now and just do whatever we want. Good good kick right there, bro. Um, this guy has actively, you know, he's been in the top 100, I believe at some point, right? Because I've I, I played this guy before. Right here, he drops the ball, but he, you know, he's getting warmed up. You know, it is what it is. Look at this, bro. Yo, Edge Blitz is back, bro. Edge Blitz is back. Like low key dudes have been locking up the run with Edge Blitz, like wildly too. Who's that, Deion Sanders? Good, good D. Good D right there. That was good D. I can't, I can't even get mad because the way that I did it, he was supposed to get Moss, or he could have picked it if he had better user because I actually mistimed it. But you know, it is what it is. But I, I'm trying to remember. I know I've seen this guy's name. Oh, he's just gonna throw it up in the coverage. Okay, and it's gonna jump in the air, and then nobody wants to pick it. Okay, so Sherman uses butt cheeks to make me not catch the ball. All right, cool. Sherman, you want to keep your butt cheeks away from me, bro? Like, yeah, throw it right there. Yeah, just throw it. This dude was scared. He was scared, man. Once he did that, I knew he was scared for the rest of the game. So, you know, pretty much it's going to be a wrap. When you just start hiking the ball and just throwing it anywhere, like, you're going to have a lot of issues playing me. Because I, I see it and I know, like, you're not looking for the read. You know that. Okay, yeah, we out. Go for six. Cut it back inside. Yep, we out. Cut back. Yep, there we go. Dude, too slow. Ooh, whoop. Okay, Brett, we got him. Got him. All right, cool. But um, at the end of the day, right? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Double teams everywhere? All right, cool. We good. Double teams everywhere, though? Let me get those. I'm going to see you guys later, man. I'm going to see you. Here goes the ball, just so you guys can see it. Like, I told you guys, I don't care. Dudes can double me, triple me, pick my mom's up, do her. I'm telling you right now, we just have to make sure that we have the right timing and we're good to go. Okay, he's just throwing the ball. And he made that? He, he, he what? He made that catch? How did he? Okay, so now, okay, yeah. All right. All right, man. All right, now we got to lock in. Because if you if he's doing stuff like that, he's dangerous. He's dangerous. Like, bro, like, okay, what is going on? All right, scream at him then. There we go. Like, why is this guy just getting that much time to do all this stupid stuff? The dude is getting all this time to be an idiot. Nobody wants to stop him. Like, come on, man. Imagine that. Imagine wanting to be out there just doing whatever you want. Nobody wants to stop him. Everybody's screaming, but nobody really... Oh, oh God, man. Oh, God. Oh, God. Good read. Good read right there, man. Good read. All right, he's just going to throw it in the... Okay, good. I'm about to say, like, he just throwing it. He just hiking it and throwing it at this point. I don't even know. Okay, he, he pushed him right in front of me. We could have probably went for six right there, but it don't really matter, though. We got to see what he's doing. I don't know what's happening, but I'm telling you, Ed, look at this guy. He's just running right in. You can't do nothing with that guy. Like, what is up with Edge Blitz? Is he really, like, just doing whatever? That just seems really weird. Like, you can't do anything with it. The dude is just running right. Look, look at this. Both sides. I got no choice but the awesome. I got no choice. Like, the dude is leaving me no choice. I got him awesome, bro. The dude is literally coming out and doing whatever he wants. I got to make a decision. Like, this dude is wilding, bro. Okay, go for six. Go for six. It don't matter. Good job. Uh, yeah, okay, dance around. All right, so that was enough because he didn't fumble, and I didn't want that animation. And low-key, I know you guys are saying I always say I'm not going to do it. I did it anyway, and then he was still able to not get the fumble, so he just chose to rage, 
Dude has to go slap box with his dead goldfish. But regardless of what he's doing, we had to get the win. Welcome back, Kelvin Benjamin. What are you guys thinking about Randy Moss? Have you raid sold him yet? Did you guys think he would be raid sold? Like, let me know, bro. Like, I had to do what I had to do. I had no choice in the matter because I really can't play him. He's not useful for me. He really, like, you know, there's so many other wide receivers that are better than him for what I do. So I literally had no choice in the matter. I want to thank all you guys for watching and all, all, all the overwhelming support. You guys go ahead and enjoy your night. Until next time, one love, y'all.